Hello and welcome to New Geometry. Today I'm going to do a video about some pentagon constructions. Take a look at Albert Dorr's famous drawing of the hexagon pentagon uh, union. I did a recent video on this, so maybe some of you have seen that. I did decide to take that down because I recognize the arrow was pointed out to me in one drawing, which I'll talk about in a moment. But we have nine pentagon constructions that we're going to go over in this one. Um, all done that can be done with a compass and straight edge. So let me go ahead and share my screen and we'll take a look at the, uh, the drawings. All right, so this is um, a follow-up video to a previous video, a few videos that I've done. Uh, probably about uh, four years ago or so, uh, I posted or three, at least three, I had a video out there that was about Durer's construction as I recognized that it didn't contain a 108 degree angle at the top. And in that video, I came up with a little bit more complex of a construction than you see here on the right to help create the same hexagon based on the seed of life drawing at the beginning uh, as the starting foundation, doing the hexagon and then creating the pentagon at the top. Now to do that correction, uh, all we really need are these golden ratio division here, creating the golden ratio uh, by placing a circle at the center of the seed of life. You, you don't have to necessarily do that circle because the two critical circles that you need for the drawing are gonna be these two because you'll be extending these two lines through this point at the top of this little tiny vesica in the middle here. By extending those lines, that will give you the correct locations to construct the other circles to give you the 108 degree angle. Now, Albert Durer's method over here, he didn't use the golden ratio circles and extended the lines through the top of the starting circle and diagram. But as you see, when you zoom in close to the diagram, you'll see that the two points are not lined up. This gold line would be where the uh, correct uh, location for the pentagon on the edge of that circle is, where the line extended from his drawing here would show you uh, slightly off from that. Now, in hand drawing, you're already gonna have some inaccuracies in your drawings anyway, but if you do base the drawing on a basic foundation, especially with this golden circle, with the golden circles, as you some of you know, the golden seed of life is something that's been quite invaluable for making a lot of awesome geometric discoveries and corrections to, um, drawings that are done without them, especially if they contain the golden ratio within the forms or within the polygons. So just as an aside, the previous drawing that I did, uh, in, in the reason I took that video down, and I want to thank Lukey Poole for pointing it out, I don't know what happened in my process of discovery, but for some reason, I wound up drawing a straight line which I thought was straight back to the base of this golden circle. And it appeared to line up uh, within all that, uh, within that line. And I eliminated these two golden ratio circles at the top thinking that was it. But it turned out that angle at the base didn't produce the correct 108 pentagon. So um, this is the correct drawing from the one that I did in previous video. So I've gone back to this one and took the previous video down. So it only had 80 something views on it at that point. Um, so this is, uh, this, is, this is the one to do on the right, the golden ratio. All right, so um, how, how I'm on this topic here and uh, revisiting it because this was already in previous videos that I've done about the door correction. Method. Well, this is a video that I did uh, just as a few days ago that was about simplifying Robert Edward Grant's um, novel Pentagon construction. Uh, you can see Robert's construction in that video. I do it and I show this construction uh, in relationship to it, which really simplifies that pattern and places it into a geometric construction that's easy and simple to do. And uh, in the video, his main uh, 
one of the main goals he had with that video was to show how the two by one rectangle helped produce the Pentagon. And in this case, we'll have two Pentagon, I mean, two, two circles, one in circumscribing the red circles uh, around it and the inner red circle here on the in, in circle, uh, inscribed circle within there. So that was one of the unique things about that drawing. Um, yet the two by one rectangle, as you're about to see, will be included in just about some portion of all the constructions of the drawings of the other pentagons that I'm gonna share in, in this video. Uh, the majority of them have obvious two by one rectangles. That's because the square root of five is across the face of the upper left corner. So let's say the bottom right corner, if we drew a straight line from there, that would be if the base of the rectangle is one, that is the square root of five. And the square root of five, of course, is a foundational uh, to the formula for phi, square root of five plus one divided by two equals the golden ratio 1.618. So this is really uh, just one of the many ways to construct a pentagon uh, without using the starting measurements, I guess, um, with the compass and straight edge <clears throat> techniques. So I, you know, this was posted and I want to give a thanks to <clears throat> Jane 108 for um, sharing my work on a recent post of his uh, in relationship to Robert's uh, study of this construction uh, of in, in, in his own way of doing it, as well as, uh, you know, bringing in Albert Durer to the subject as Robert mentioned Alric in the in his his video of the Pentagon construction technique that he discovered. So I've got a few different things here, as well as the um, King's Chamber geometry, which I have some slides that I want to talk about at the end of a, of this video. So you know, here's the the method. Now this has got the complete golden ratio circle template that I originally did with the golden circle seed of life, blending together with the golden circles that are constructing the Pentagon. And um, I like to call it, you know, the Dura Leoniac new method, because I guess the golden circle ratio circle pattern integrated with the construction that or at least the seed that Albrecht planted in our mind to make this beautiful connection between the hexagon sharing the base of the pentagon, both sharing the same edge. You know, that was something uh, that Albrecht inspired, you know, countless geometers with that drawing. And this is a modification of that drawing that includes the golden ratio. So now we're get that 108 degree angle and as you saw in the previous video, uh, the previous uh, slides before, if this is one at the base here, then of course this distance between um, going across the, the star arm or the diagonal across the face of the Pentagon there, or these right here, the, the gold lines of course will be also uh, five, 1.618. And within this method, we can also construct the two by one rectangle as well within the diagram. So I wanna just show a number of other techniques that also util can utilize or at least show the one by two rectangle. And this is a method that I did a YouTube video on quite a while ago, at least three years ago that I called the as above, so below drawing because it is a very neat one that constructs two pentagons one on top of the other along the dividing line at the center of the starting circle that you use to get the drawing going. And it's based on a kind of vesica construction. This one also will construct the two by one rectangle in the middle. And you know this, this method I thought was a unique one to me. The majority of the ones you're gonna see in the video, uh, some of them 
I've never seen anywhere before. And some of them have been brought to my attention afterwards that someone else had done a construction similar to that or the same. So when that happens, like this is a John Michelle's um, drawing, I guess, that he did at the time when I created it in my own process of discovery, I did not know that, but I'm thankful that I came up with something similar because at least, you know, when that happens, it's usually very encouraging um, rather than, oh no, someone else did it. It's not a discover, a, 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 you know, initial original discovery of mine. But to me, it's great when that happens because then you know you're really on the trail of the master geometers of the past who provided great inspiration like Albert Durer and John Michel and countless others. Uh, when you're doing these drawings that they've done in the past and you've come up with it on your own, that's actually a super awesome feeling for me personally. Now this, um, I'm not sure about this method, whether it's been seen. I think um, someone may have posted something similar to it on Facebook with an unnamed uh, person who did it. But this new method um, also contains a pentagon in the middle with um, a similar construction kind of to the previous one, but really shrinks the pentagon down onto the inside and of course, all the interactions, there's, these are really two big golden ratio, golden circles again. And once again, it's giving you that, this, this little vesica in the middle is really important little vesica because it's all throughout the golden seed of life. And the other golden circle templates that I share from the other orthographic perspectives of the fivefold and twofold geometries besides the three. Well, this little vesica here, that contains um, a, a golden triangle, right? So this angle here is gonna be 36 degrees at the top and bottom and 144 um, at these, uh, from the top to this point of the vesica to, to down below. So that's 144. And of course, if we take it at the base, we have 72 degree angle down there. So there's another little method that puts the Pentagon down there. Um, on the inside of the one by two rectangles. Now, this method uh, is a neat one that is a little more complex and it's set up. It uses uh, this circle, this way to get the golden ratio uh, with this, this line producing the divine cut within the diagram. And that gives us uh, either a larger golden circle in the middle or these smaller ones to the outside. And with those, we go ahead and we can make this large circle, uh, this line should extend out to meet that point. That's how you get that location. And with this additional circle at the base, we're able to produce the larger pentagon that's now actually sharing the uh, points of the two by one rectangle um, on the same circle, you know, the same red circle. So that's just another way to sh show a drawing that has a relationship to the the one by two rectangle there um, with this construction that uh, it may be also a unique one to new geometry. Okay, this one I'm pretty sure may be a standard technique of creating a pentagon as well. Once again, we have to get the golden ratio um, with the step here. I don't have the line marked this time. Uh, we'd swing our compass out from the midpoint here at the black line out to the, you know, down to the base of the red circle, swing the compass out over here, go ahead and create that circle. And now that will provide us the opportunity to add in the additional uh, circle we need here to get the base points. And with the upper circle that I've added there, we go ahead and we get another pentagon and, and there's another two by one relationship to the that the two by one rectangle there that we have. So, you know, lots of different methods to do this Pentagon construction. Um, each are really kind of embedded into a different kind of, uh, uh, you know, starting way to do it. But for overall, they're really, after you do so many of these Pentagon constructions like this, you start to realize they're all just different variations of the same 
Pentagon and different ways to construct this Pentagon, um, you could start to find how the other methods are related to um, the one that you know I'm currently sharing here. For instance, this one is probably one of the most popular methods that can be found online. And what we have here is, uh, you know, just so where the two by one rectangles are within this drawing, of course, we could also have it, you know, extend these down and we could put this in a square. That would be similar to the method I showed previously. But for this one, what we're actually doing is creating two circles to the side here of uh, off of those in, within these vesicas. And of course, these vesicas themselves are, let's call them little two by one rectangles on either side. And whenever you put a circle in a small, in a two by one rectangle and draw the line from here to here, well, you produce the golden ratio right at this point here. So you see the golden ratio is even embedded in this design. Of course, it's embedded in design, but I mean, the two by one rectangle is also hidden within this design of a construction method here. So, uh, you know, this one, uh, you know, was one of the early ones that I had come across and probably one of the first ones that I drew an accurate Pentagon. And it wasn't like I said, oh, great, we have the one method and I'll stop there. As you can see, I've gone on to discover all these variety of methods because it really starts to show the beautiful unification of the circle templates and the circle patterns. Often I don't go in looking to create a, uh, a pentagon, it often organically emerges within the drawing technique um, based on the principles, the foundational principles of working with the compass and straight edge uh, and, and the golden ratio with that. So they just kind of pop up on their own sometimes. This one is, you know, it's embedded in all the other drawings, but this one is now just simplifying the the uh, construction of the Pentagon with just the probably the probably easiest techniques you can do. It only requires starting with three circles on a line and then going ahead and using that vesica. And in addition to, you know, making this, um, this little diagonal line here to go ahead and give you your golden ratio circle. And once you've done that, you're able to construct the whole Pentagon. So this is a, easy technique to do, but remember, this is now simplifying to the bare bones when you put this into uh, the rest of the rest of the templates, templates, like when this flowers out, to be able to do a larger construction um, of the, let's say the rest of the seed of life, or you can go to, to the two-fold symmetry here, or you can go to Pentagon symmetry, you can do so many things from this simple drawing that now includes the golden ratio, and that's really the foundation of working with the golden ratio in the uh, different circle templates that I've shared to construct different polyhedra, you know, different forms, platonic solids, uh, tricontahedrons, you know, a variety of other forms can all be done with a basic understanding of that method. And those are things that I all share, you know, in the apprenticeships. And you know, this, did, we did these six drawings that I showed previously all within my last apprenticeship. Um, so check out new geometry courses to just learn more about the apprenticeship program. And uh, this method is really one that I just discovered a few days ago. And you know, with the inspiration of looking into Pentagon methods once before, I knew I was able to create a golden ratio segment here along this line where it intersects right at this little white point right here. That creates the golden ratio and I can produce a golden circle here. And if I go ahead and place another circle off of the base of that, that circle, well then all of a sudden I'm able to pretty much use the same technique that I used with the Dura one because I have that same point and go ahead, extend those lines up. And then that will go ahead and pre pre present another way to do a pentagon. But you could see it's all connecting to other um, techniques from the other drawings that I've shared, I, except th this is really different because this is now right in the Vesica Pisces drawing, right? So we've eliminated some other steps 
and we put it into this foundational vesica birthing a pentagon method, as Nancy Benneroff uh, labeled this one or named this drawing. Um, just as an aside, Nancy and I are going to do a drawing class on June 9th, 2024, um, where we're going to draw um, actually some Pentagon related drawings, not these constructions, but we'll be doing a cool artistic design using some of these principles. So check that out. Of course, that's on the New Geometry Courses site. All right. So yeah, like I said, this one, you know, you, you're basically doing the large triangle within the root three um, circle that's created by the vesica that you start with. And that's a great simple technique, almost as easy as the previous one. Um, and it has a different feeling than the other drawings and a different set of steps to create the drawing. So um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, and it was easy to draw. I did this drawing in about under four minutes, right? With setting up the center of the drawing and you know just moving through each of the steps, a uh, quite easy method to do and uh, really looks cool in the Vesica design and connecting to those foundational uh, principles of the Vesica in new geometry, in, in sacred geometry uh, with this new technique here. All right, so those are uh, nine methods to produce a pentagon. I'm sure there are a lot of different, a lot of different methods out there that I haven't seen. And I look forward and I'm grateful when people post new methods or test out, like I mentioned Lukey earlier, and this is why I'm doing a redo of this video because I made an error in the drawing at the top there uh, somehow. Uh, but I like to share, I went back to do this correction video on this and I'm looking forward to seeing other people's uh, methods of how they construct pentagons because there's a lot we can learn from each of these unique constructions. Um, but ultimately all in the end, they all are producing these pentagon, uh, you know, a perfect pentagon with the 108 degree angles. All right, so I wanna just switch base, uh, switch gears here real quick and just talk about the sacred geometry of the King's Chamber because that was uh, mentioned in Robert Edward Grant's post and making that connection to the Pentagon. We'll leave the Pentagon out of it for now because I really wanna just talk about the, the structure of the geometry of the chamber itself. It, you know, the two by one rectangle is, is really primarily one, uh, perspective, one fit, you know, one way to look at it, it'd be kind of be like a top down view of looking at the length and, and width of the, of the, of the structure, right? But we have a height to it, right? And that height is there's two heights. It goes sunk down into the base floor a little bit. And there's like a secondary floor down there that ends at, and that little extension past the regular two by one structure is the square root of five. And, you know, I was wanted to show in the drawing this of the star cut diagram, how we can show all the critical faces of the, of, of the, uh, of, of the chamber, right? So the, the unique thing about it is it has, well, the many unique things about it, but a very cool thing is it has a three, four, five triangle within this, uh, you know, this within this overall container. And within the star cut diagram, I discovered a, a, a new way that I hadn't seen out there before, but it certainly could be known, uh, a rectangle that has a four, five, and three at the base edge within the star cut. So that would be looking at it as if we tilted it. And I'm gonna break this drawing down because I know there's a lot going on within it. I've also included a golden rectangle that can be constructed this way as well, right here at the center. Um, but here's the two by one rectangle. So that would be kind of a top down view. Now, if we just turn it slightly, we have to extend it out to a certain, you know, to the square root of uh, five. So we have 2.236. Well, that's if we just rotate it. And now we're looking at it from the side, let's say, because we have a root five top. And then we also have that face from looking at it at the side. So to look at this, and, and I'll discuss this drawing here in just a moment, to look at this just a little more uh, 
without them all clustered on top of one another, all in the same diagram, we get all these different views around the outside here, these four different views. Now, this one is the one that has the uh, three, board, three, four, five triangle, uh, you know, facing us flat to us. So these are the actual true dimensions. And when you do that, one face of the one, you know, outer face of the uh, container is longer than the other, right? So there's going to be this slight uh, offset appearance to it. And that can be drawn in our diagram, which is awesome to see. And then we also have the regular two by one, and we also have the square root of five. Um, and I guess I shouldn't be saying two by one anymore because square root of five is 2.236. So really this measurement should be two by four, okay? So let's just uh, get a little clarity on that. And of course, then we'd also have the, uh, two by the 2.236, okay? So two by 2.36 for that view. So there's a little higher, it's the square root of five in the, the height. Now this little diagram in the middle, um, I wanted to do because it was, figure out how to draw it in hexagon view because I was quite curious to figure out a way to draw it, something like this that kind of puts it in a bit of, rather these flat triangles and rectangles, but something that puts it into a, like a little bit more of a angled view. And I had a feeling that I could probably do that and figure out a method of, uh, of that in the uh, seat of life pattern or hexagon view, right? At the time I started doing the drawing, I wasn't sure how to, it was gonna work out because it's not a regular cube. It's not two, two cubes put together because if it were, we could just base the bottom of the drawing here we could just base these um, hexagons, we could draw regular hexagons. But what happens here is we have this little extended piece going up past, now that's the 0.236 piece that creates the square root of five in length. Now everything is foreshortened in this image because we're not looking at them as flat. So the only true measurement in this is going to be the square root of two on the two by one face, but this is supposed to really be now three along this length. So, uh, and this would be 2.8, that would be the, the square root of eight um, in, in the actual measurement. So, okay, so just to put all that aside, all the numbers, don't get lost in all that. Basically, you have to make it a little bit longer <clears throat> of a it's kind of a longer hexagon looking view here. And, you know, I had to figure out how to do that. And what do you know, after, you know, making sure it all worked out, the, um, it turned out to be right in the golden seat of life circle template, right? So when I extended the lines across here, I was able to precisely, um, you know, cut this line at the precise point that I needed to draw the King's chamber from this perspective to that, you know, has never been done, that I think has probably never been drawn this way before. Um, I may it probably has, I have no idea who, who's done what. It's hard to know what's, what else may be out there, but it seems uh, very unique. And it, and it was really made possible, you know, to draw this in this hexagon view because of this golden circle template. It's the same one that has, you know, made that correction or helped make the correction to the door diagram at the beginning here by adding those golden ratio circles in this method that I'm showing right here, right? So this is the same golden circle template, you know, the same um, ability to make the corrections in so many, many drawings that use the golden ratio, but didn't have it apparent like this in the past uh, or, or maybe it wasn't embedded in the drawing at all, This uh, these circles have now given me the ability to share this image of the king's chamber uh, from this tilted perspective, uh, you know, that is going to carry over. That's how we can make sure that it relates to all these other drawings, because all these drawings now are all done to scale. And now I can illustrate what that rectangle 
of the three, four, five rectangle looks like on the inside from this perspective, rather than it just looking like these straight lines. Okay. So, you know, I take, you know, a, a lot of care and love and, and pride in doing that because it allows us to, um, you know, it's joyful for me to do because it allows us to draw something like this without like an AutoCAD program, right? Because this is just tilted at a particular angle to show that, you know, to show those relationships. And now we can do it with our hand-drawn techniques too. And remember, it's just embedded into a larger uh, matrix of geometry that's all interconnected, you know, through sacred principles of using the golden ratio that I've uh, illustrated a variety of different techniques. And of course, we could put the Pentagon right here at the center of this drawing, which of course, that Pentagon is really just, you know, a mod of, you know, just showing one of many of these constructions that I showed previously. But this was really one of the first ways that I discovered a Pentagon uh, within this template here. And it's just one of many pentagons. In fact, I have a whole nother video that shares 12 ways to construct or 13 ways. I'm not sure. I don't remember 12 or 13, 13 ways to construct the pentagon just in this golden seed of life path. All right. So that's the overview of this video. I hope you appreciate it. If you saw the previous one, um, I took it down, but this is now uh, the, with the correct method here of the um, original one that I did showing the uh, correction to the door drawing. So uh, much love and appreciation. Thank you for watching the video. And um, I built this just another another little thing before I head off. Uh, I built that little King's Chamber there. This is now showing the, the three, four, five triangle on the inside of it. All right, so there's the little three, four, five triangle on the inside. It follows the edge from the top corner. Now this line going across here would be the two by one by two, but down to the base, that little extension is down to root five. So it's not a perfect uh, square. And then it shares the three, four, five shares this edge along the base, the diagonal across this kind of small rectangle. And then of course, straight through from the upper corner to the lower corner here, well, that's the little three, four, five triangle on the inside. Now I have another video that I did recently on the three, four, five triangle that shows some very cool relationships about putting a golden ratio of circles right with inside the ins inscribed circle within this three, four, five triangle. So if you're interested in that, check that video out on the three, four, five triangle from just about two weeks ago. All right, well, once again, much love and appreciation. Thanks for watching the video and uh, we'll be back next time with another video with some more exciting new discoveries. All right, so long, bye.